What's up YouTube and welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is a guide to all of the flighting battles in the game and I'm going to show you how to unlock Charisma level 6 by completing all of them by selecting the correct choices. You will get an achievement or trophy guide for doing all of the flighting battles, but you don't need to correctly complete them in order to get that achievement or trophy. This is only if you want to unlock Charisma level 6. The first person that we're going to flight here is Alvis. Elvis is the first flight in the game and you'll take him on early on in Norway. However, if you don't choose the correct answers, you can always take him on again when he joins your settlement in England. It's the exact same flight as it was in Norway, I'm just going to show you the correct answers. There will also be timestamps down in the description for each of these flights if you're just looking for one specific one. And please remember if this video does help you out to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as that helps me out. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now let us examine meaning. <clears throat> in flighting you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull, Then I'll tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Eh, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will fly to you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding, you're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Alvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. You, Dane, come closer. What do you want? You look to be a good fighter, but do you dare to face the greatest battle you will ever know? Of what do you speak? I speak of a terrible and monstrous incorporeal power whose name is feared across these lands. Fergal the Faceless, the most fearsome flighter in all of Grantbridgeshire. Ooh. Ooh. A flighter? Is that all? Fergal the Faceless has silenced doubters before. Will you challenge him? I will face the Faceless. <gasps> My god! You are braver than most. Or perhaps more foolish. Come, I will give you a key. This key unlocks Fergal's lair, which you see now before you. That is a house. No, no. It is a den of nightmares. A pit of death from which few have ever escaped unharmed. By words. Unharmed by words. Go. Go now. And God be with you. A new victim? What fool dares to challenge the might of Fergal the Faceless? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor of the Raven Clan? My next meal. Are you prepared to be eviscerated with words? I think I will survive. I am Fergal the Faceless, and I am clever and strong. But you're not. You're ugly and weak, and you're a big smelly coward. You're probably too scared to even face me, now that I think about it. Sorry, have you started? Yes, obviously. I said you're probably too scared to face me. But your rhythm is clumsy. You will never outpace me. Ah, you think you can win with rhyme, do you? Well, if you like to rhyme, listen this time. I'm very brave. My flighting is grave. I'm not a knave. 
and it's victory that I really crave. Your tongue is fat. You're a sprat. You whine like a little brat. And we are in a spat. Says the flighter who hides in a hole like a rat. Oh, you've made a terrible mistake. Be ready for my finishing blow. I am the best at flighting. I have got powerful skills. I'm strong as an ox and clever as a fox. I'm sharp as a dozen hawks. Let me show you my skills and then you I shall kill dead with my... my skill. If we are arguing as to your talent, I shall happily die on this hill. You... Uh, well... I... Uh, just one moment. I, I... I need to think. Give me time. Ferkel the faceless, or Ferkel the wordless? No, you get ready. The killing blow is... It's coming. It's... Ferkel? Hello? I've heard all Danes are cursed with slow brains and fat tongues. Care to prove me wrong? Most men choose to be loud or stupid. Impressed that you manage both. I will take you on. Brilliant. Some flighting spirit. How about a wager? Here. Thank you. Let us begin. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. Oh, to beat such a bracket will surely be fun. Ah, quick to bite back. Be careful, young Ulf. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're a weakling, a milksop, a catcher, a louse. Brilliant! I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. Your pride is appalling, and your rhyming is worse. Got you there, young Irv. Ha! <laughs> I'm impressed. You are as sharp as that axe on your belt. As promised, I will have my winnings now. Take the gold. You've earned it. of the Raven Clan. How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt, but I doubt you've much talent for speech. You might be surprised. Let us duel. Well, I'll need a wager first. Here's the silver. Now begin. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. Then you're speaking to fools and their knowledge is flawed. Well, not bad. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight.
and they are sorely mistaken I'm known for my might. Interesting. Interesting. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Then you have clearly misheard them. My wit is immense. Oh, you looked out with that one. Well, what a surprise. Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Do not believe everything you hear. Unless it touches on my flighting, then heed every word. Take the coin, and know that only praise will henceforth cross my lips. What is it? Do you enjoy flighting? Lobbing insults at one another? I am familiar. Then I challenge you. But be warned, this flighting's like none you've ever known. How is that? For this jewel of flighting, intent is reversed. All rudeness is flattery, a blessing, a curse. So if you seek to harm me, then simply be kind. What a lovely request, from a very sharp mind. How charming. Shall we bet? Here's my wager. After you, friend. I stand here in awe at the charm of your face. You're the picture of elegance, beauty, and grace. Well done. I was wrapped with excitement when you came along. Oh, your valor's the subject of story and song. You're wonderful. You've such a great talent for flighting and rhyme. It is truly a pleasure. My partner's sublime. You're such a talent. This flighting's been lovely. A wonderful time. You're skilled with your rhythm, as well as your rhyme. It's been a true joy to take a moment away from London's troubles and trials. You've more than earned this. Face like a stuffed beaver. What quarrel have you with me? None. I am but an observer of your sparrow like weakness, and I wish to make it known in verse. Flighting, then. You understand. I will take you on. Happy to bet. Let us begin on your work. I hope you're ready. Would you battle a dragon? Then challenge me not. Oh, you're barely an insect. A fly that I'll swat. Good! Keep it coming! I'm possessed of a strength that would scare off a bear. You're possessed of a baldness that scared off your hair. Great! I've the heart of a lion, the loins of a horse. You've the brain of a donkey to challenge a Norse. A good one, that. 
Let me end now by saying you think you're a beast. You declare you're the most, but I've found you're the least. Huh. Sharp as an eagle's talons. You've earned your winnings today. This well. Not a lot of fight in you, is there? You might be surprised. What do you want? I'd like to do with words what the Corrin deprives my fists. What? I want to have a flighting match. I'm ready to duel. My pet, now speak. Let us see if your skills are a match for your pride. I am feared by all men, be they Northern or Saxon. And your thick little skulls fit for grinding my axe on. Stronger than I thought. Oh, you think you can scare me? I'm tougher than you. Test your might against mine, and we'll see how you do. How dare you! Let's dispense with these poems and have a real row! If it's fighting you want, I shall take you on now. You think you're good with words, eh? How about your fists? I will have my winnings, please. Earn them! I'm you! <laughs> Enough! You've proven yourself. I must say I'm impressed. A test for the mind and the body. Take what you've earned. Thank you. I will. So we, do you think that you'll ever be up here like me? Will you fly against me and try testing your luck? I accept, and like lightning, will leave you dumbstruck. Not bad, but what will you wager? Here's my bet. Now do your worst. I call down from on high the full strength of the gods to defeat all the stammerers, weaklings, and frauds. And those men who approach, I make fools of them all. The one fool that I see here is up on that wall. Not bad, I suppose. I am here the clouds while you crawl on the ground like a sad little worm making a pitiful sound and my height goes to show how above you I stand then enjoy while you can a great fall is at hand surprisingly competent I have every advantage I see for an age my words are my weapons, these ramparts my stage. What's it like being tiny, an ant in the loam? What's it like feigning hugeness? You're not but a gnome. That one landed. Well, for a mere speck of a flighter, you're surprisingly strong. You've earned your winnings. You're a mighty little midge. Better luck next time. Ah, look 
at you, big and tall. What's your name? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor of the Raven Clan? Come here, come closer. Do you like to drink? As I like breathing. And do you like to flight? I do. Well, listen. Here these folk aren't impressed by the speed of your thinking. They will only respect you for how much you're drinking. If you're sober, then leave, for there's not here for you. Oh, I will shut your big mouth while I finish my brew. That's the spirit. Now make your wager. The ale's free to those who flight. I will buy you a round with my winnings. How is that? Ha! <laughs> I like this one! Are you ready? What about one more drink before we begin? For luck. For luck. Your face is a wreck. You're a blight on the Norse. Your face brings to mind the arse end of a horse. Brilliant! 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 Yes! Have another drink. Yes, yes! Here's the next one. You're a pig-headed, ugly excuse for a day. Now to look upon you leaves my eyes in great pain. You're brilliant. You're the smartest person I've ever met. You hold your own. Let's have another. I'm a champion, a winner. I'll claim the top prize. Yeah, I give for sale to the credit lies. That was the most incredible flighting I've heard in all my years. You are a wonder. I would say the same of you, friend. Three cheers for Eivor, the most masterful wordsmith in all of England! Perfect figure you have. Poised, powerful, perfect. Me? Mm, yes. I cannot help but wonder, is your flighting as striking as you? How do you mean? I draw smiles from the women and winks from the men. I'm a poetry lover who's skilled with his pen. If you fancy a round, then approach and come speak. If you're lustful for verse, then I've got what you seek. I will flight with you. Perfect. Would you like to make it uh, interesting? With a wager, I mean. My wager? Thank you. Are we ready? Let us begin. What know you of the power of fleets to seduce? Are you even aware that they have such a use? See, your weapon lies not in your belt, but your head. With words, I'll ensnare you and put you to bed. Yes! I could feel when you entered, the room became warm. Though I doubted your flighting, I quite liked your form. On your every word, I can say that I'm hung. I'm as good with my lips as I am with my tongue. Yes, more! I could fleet more sweet nothings inside of your ear. Though I warn you, there's some of the lewdest you'll hear. But instead of just telling, I'll happily show. While I doubt you can take me, I'll give you a go. That was delicious. It's rare that I meet one who can keep pace with me. So, uh, what do you say? 
Shall we find somewhere and exchange a little more than, uh, words? It was only a flight. My winnings, please. Yes, of course. I was only... It was just a game, yes? Friendly banter? It's been a true pleasure. Good morrow, good morrow. I stand here on behalf of the Lady Elette of Colchester, famed mistress of the flight. Do you seek an audience? I've never heard of her. Based on your appearance, I'm thoroughly unsurprised. Nevertheless, do you wish to challenge her? I do. Foolish. Yet to be graced by her presence may balance the pain of the loss you will most assuredly suffer. Lady Elette! You are called to the field of flighting. Ah, oh, a peasant. Come for a sound flighting. Please, place your paltry bet. Take this. Hmm. A pittance. But I accept on the lady's behalf. She will begin. I have heard much about you, and none of it good. You've the softness and brains of a sheep. My verses are known all across this great land. For they put all who hear them to sleep. Not bad. Oh, you think you're so clever, I'm almost impressed that you managed to blurt something out. Yet I worry our skills are too deeply mismatched. I'll defeat you and banish all doubt. <laughs> Lucky. I should almost take pity on one so bereft, of beauty, of wit, and of skill. But instead, I'll persist till you beg me to stop. Lend a soul, for your words make me ill. Where did you steal that one from? Thus the Lady Alette has been beaten at last, by the one she was foolish to doubt. Now her herald must give me the sum of my bet, while Alette can but stand there and pout. Oh, pay what is due and send this peasant away. I grow weary. Of course, milady. Take your winnings, you have earned them. Thank you. Good day. What is your name? I am Eivor, of the Raven Clan. And are you a flighter? When the mood strikes. Do you wish to flight with me? Oh, no, certainly not. I don't engage in such things. Haven't a head for it. My brother, however, he is quite proficient. Ah, then you wish to compete with me. I should mention, my brother has taken a strict vow of silence. If you wish to flight, I will translate and relay his verses. I think I understand. Good. Hark! To those gathered round, wave your hands and rejoice. I shall trounce this poor fool without use of my voice. Such is his challenge. Do you wish to face him? I'll happily challenge you. S sorry, him. Here you are, my bet. Good. Now remember, it is not me you are flighting. I am but a conduit for his words. I will keep this well in mind. Good. He is ready. 
Come you closer, friend Eivor, and lend me your ear. The most cutting of flights from my mouth you'll not hear. But by proxy I'll call you a milksop and boor. Though you speak through another, your flighting's still poor. Your body is withered, your garments absurd. I'll topple you over with nary a word. I'm devoted to flights, though to silence avowed. You're a simpleton and a fool, and you should never be proud. Your visage is ghastly. I'm cowed by your stink. I should like to write more, but you're not worth the ink. So, a last parting phrase. You're as dim as they come. With such drivel to speak, I see why you keep mum. Very fine work. As an impartial observer, I must say you won. Thank you. My brother has a few parting words. You have bested me squarely and thus won the day. So take what you've earned now and hurry away. I will. Farewell to you both. you on your approach how must it feel not to carry the weight of years I am not a child yet I see in you a child's blissful ignorance of the world's darkest truths a fool you gathered all this from a glance in this way I am wise perhaps you will learn better through flighting I will challenge you I accept, and I will place a wager on it. Here's my bet. You may begin. You are savage, uncouth, and care little for life. Like the rest of your kind, you breed misery and strife. Both your hands bear the blood of one thousand dead men. Well, perhaps they should have known not to challenge me then. A crude response. I am dismayed. It's a shame you're so calloused by warfare and pain. That you'll joke about death and treat life with disdain. Is it worth it? The killing, the torture, the slaves. It is not mine to judge, only fill up the graves. That was fine. Yes, your avarice means that you'll just never see that this war will not grant immortality. You have one life to live, so why throw it away? ...to ensure that I'll sit in Valhalla one day. Enough! I've heard more than my fill of your cruelty. Take your winnings. May spending them bring you fleeting joy. I promise it will.
that you could... What tiny little child approaches. Me? Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I've consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. Here's my wager. I'm ready for you now. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? What you make up in muscles, you're lacking in spine. More than strength, I can boast that my features are fair. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant! Yes! More! Have you ever met someone so witty and quick? No, you're quite like your arms, just incredibly thick. Brutal! I adore it! <laughs> Wonderful! Rare to find someone with any flighting skin. You deserve every bit of your bet and more. I'll remember some of those insults. Happy to be of service. You there! You look like you could handle yourself in a fight. Elmer Wolfkist, is that you? Greybeard! I see you there! Thor! Why do you call? A challenge! Will you face me in flighting? I will accept your challenge! And teach you a lesson through humiliation. Now speak, that I might hear the strength of your convictions. Come and flight me, all father. It's time to perform. I'm the ruler of thunder. You're caught in the storm. Cross the water and meet me. I'll show you my might. Oh, beware what you ask for. I will finish the fight! Not bad, old man! I have slain giants and monsters. I am endlessly brave. I am adored by the masses from warrior to slave. You are the worst of the Aesir, a coddled old clod. I'm as wise as an owl. You're a fool of a god. Hmm. You were lucky. Shame serves as your shadow wherever you roam. Your failure's the point, and I'll hammer it home. You're a simpering greybeard who will soon meet his end. Well, your victory's not what my visions portend. Ugh, better than I thought. Describe defeat for me, Thor. I do not know the taste. This setback will only drive me to get better, to get stronger, and I will return and crush you with my wit!
none but the high one. Ratatusk the tree rat, what message do you carry today? I've received a new message just this morning. It says... Ratatusk is this girl who here shall run on the ash tree in Brazil. And the high one is he who will be crushed underneath my flighting skill. What say you, high one? I will take you on, Squirrel. Say when. Good. Let's begin. I'm a messenger born, and I have got a word here from up on high. You'll be slain and undone by my cutting wit. I should like to see you try. Drill tooth, I am named for the way I fight at the bark of this world tree. But they ought to call me knife tongue for words so sharp. They're too dull to conquer me. Not bad for an old man. I deal mostly in gossip, but hear say truth. Hearken to the words I speak. You're a fat-headed fool and a puny god. I grow weary of your squeak. That was almost good. Ratatusk is the squirrel who here shall run on the ass tree Yggdrasil. Though he fought with some fury and did his best, it was Harvey got the kill. You did better than I thought. Now leave this place before I bite.